Let's talk about this uh, this article right here. Huh. It says, uh, Superhead is back. The 40-something-year-old woman that was known as the best in the business when it came to her oral talents is back. Those of you who have a certain age, who, uh, some of you who have a certain age can remember when Corinne Steffens put hip-hop and Hollywood on blast. She is including Trey Songz, Michael B. Jordan, and Chris Brown in her tales this go around. This is why I tell you, man, these women try to get these guys young. It's really sad how dense women are in America. Absolutely, Samurai Will. They're very dense. Appreciate it, man. Uh, but this is not quite as simple as it may seem. She speaks openly in a new podcast and speaks on a few things that we have never heard before. First of all, she says Trey Sones wanted to relieve himself on her for her birthday. Like a drunk and a tree. What? She basically saying that R. Kelly and Trey Songz have something in common. By the way, she said she didn't allow him to do that to her. <laughs> Trey Songz is a weirdo, man. <laughs> I have this. Trey Songz is a weirdo, man. He is. He's a weirdo. I'm not saying that there's not other men who've wanted to do that or who may have wanted to do that, but he's a weirdo. People know Trey Songz is a weirdo. Anyway. That's what happens when you you in the industry way too long. A lot of these guys have been in the industry just way too long, man. <laughs> Don't tell them what they into. The second one is that she has had relations with Michael B. Jordan when he was 18. I guess she is R. Kelly. I guess she and R. Kelly also have something in common, but this is not really the juice that we love about uh Corinne Stephens. This is pretty basic stuff. She also maintains that her uh bedroom life or oh, no bedroom life, her interaction with Michael B. Jordan was just okay. But I'm like, what did she expect? The man was only 18. He might have been a virgin. I doubt it, but maybe. So she's talking about how good he was in the bedroom at 18. Who says this stuff? What's up, Wanda? Make sure y'all like the stream, too. What woman sits there and talk, a 40-something-year-old woman at that, talks about how good an 18-year-old is in the bedroom? Imagine a 40-something-year-old celebrity or actor or you know, ex-pro athlete talked about how good some well-known actress was when she was 18 in the sack. Do you know how much hate that guy would get how he would get canceled. But she's talking about the fact that he was just okay in the bedroom at 18 years old. What would you think? What what would you, I mean, the dude pro, it would not surprise me at all if she waited until he was 18 to have relations with him. Probably on his birthday. And you, what you expect to be getting from a guy who's 18. That's how crazy and sick these people are. That's why these women are exactly in the situation that they're in, man. They can't wait to mess up the, the next generation of males. And that's the problem we have in society, man. They want to make it seem like it's the men. It's the men. It's the men. No, look at these women. They're out here screwing younger men. And I mean younger. I mean teenage, teenage years. But they always want to focus on the men and who the men are dating. What about the women screwing teenage males? Look at the women in these schools targeting these young males. And what I read an article where there was a woman that said it was her right to have relations with this what, 17, 18 year old. I mean, that's just the entitlement that these Western women have. These Western women are disgusting. They are absolutely disgusting. They think it is, it's their right, their privilege to sleep with these young men. The succubus Jezebel demon harlot witch. Fire ogre smile with <laughs> horn snake spider eyes. Thanks, Antoine. Appreciate that, man. These women are so entitled to be sleeping with these young men. Karen Stevens over Carmen Hayes and Pinky Man shrugging dark skin tone. Appreciate that. And then there is Chris Brown, who she certainly has something in common with. Uh, certainly has certainly has something in common with R. Kelly. Uh, she doesn't even know exactly how old he was but claims he was at least 18 or maybe 19, but 
Suppose he could have also have been 16 or 17. Either way, she says that he was the aggressor and that he snuck up on her. But she makes it clear she was not being assaulted. But they had a fun encounter. She says she was wearing a dress and cleaning a tub when he came up and then began to get it in. This is also pretty boring to me. Maybe for some it is uh, it is not, but for me it is. She didn't even know how old Chris Brown was. Now she could be just saying that just to you know elicit a response, which again I want to know why. I mean, are you that thirsty for attention? Are you that thirsty to be relevant? Are you that thirsty for people to talk about you? I mean, this story should go viral. I mean, this woman is literally confessing to sleeping with teenagers. And and there are people who are going to look the other way. They're going to act like, you know, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. This is a grown woman who was grown at the time talking about how she didn't even know what Chris Brown's age was. You didn't know what Chris Brown's age was, but you sure was trying to have relations with him. And then she tried to say, well, he was the aggressor. That's what they all say. And they always say that <laughs> they came on to me. And then what these people say, what these sick weirdo freaks say that the person came on to them and they were the aggressor and they wanted it. Ain't that what they say? Ain't that what they say? He wanted it. He was asking for it. Ain't that what they say? You know, trying to say he snuck up on her and he was the aggressor and she had no choice but to give in. Like, come on, man. When Chris Brown was, when Chris Brown was 18 or 19, he looked like he was about 15, 16. Like, come on, man. And this is exactly why women have no accountability. That's why they have no accountability, man, because they're always going to be able to make excuses and talk about how, you know, it was him and he wanted it. He was asking for it. It's always he was the aggressor. No, you were the aggressor. You were the adult. And you decided to sleep with these young men anyway because you wanted to sleep with those young men. Just like the young, the other guy that she got with, the younger guy she got with, right? Recently. She wrote two books solely about sexual conquests. She been thirsty for the attention and she might have another weird snitchy book coming. Oh, I have no doubt. But if she puts this in the book, I mean... Nobody's going to say anything. She's not going to get canceled. Y'all afraid to cancel a woman who's talking about the fact that she didn't even know Chris Brown's age. I mean, did you ask Chris Brown or did you not care? You, she probably knew the answer. And she knows that she slept with this guy when he was under 18, but she doesn't want to say it. How could you not ask him what his age is? Mary J. Blige took Danny Boy V card. No one cared. Because it's a woman, it's an older woman dealing with a young guy. And they know that society doesn't care about young boys. Society doesn't care about young boys. They don't. They just care about being able to utilize the victimization of women in order to achieve whatever goal they're trying to achieve. Young boys don't fit in that category. That's why they have no programs for young boys, mentorship programs. They try as best they can to keep the fathers away from their sons and daughters. They allow the mothers to do whatever it takes to keep them away. You know, now I know this situation goes deep. There are things that Corinne Stephens has dealt with in her life. She's dealt with abuse throughout her life. And I think women like that are the most susceptible to engaging in relations with younger, with young, I'm not saying younger, young men, 
because that's all, that's what they, they they don't see boundaries. And when these people don't get help for their own issues, they repeat the behaviors because they have no boundaries. Do y'all not understand that they don't want boundaries in our society? They don't want the girls playing with girls and, and doing girl things and boys playing with boys and doing boy things. They want to blur those lines. So there's no boundaries. That's what they want. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. They want absolutely no boundaries. They want everything to, to, to whatever goes, goes. It would not surprise me if they want people that they, they will like California has already tried to make it to where, you know, people who are adults can date teenagers. That's where we at. There's a lot of female predators out there. Who hasn't Chris Brown slept with? <laughs> yeah, he, he slept with a lot of women, you know, but again, he's a, he's an R and B singer. He's a guy who's highly talented. There are women that find him attractive. So he's going to always have his pick of women. He's always going to have his pick of women. But guys like that usually have dealt with women in the bedroom a lot longer than others, man. Because you going when especially guys like Chris Brown, I'm sure there were adult women who wanted to sleep with him when he was a teenager. That's the unfortunate thing, man. And they don't want you to protect your children. They want to be able to take control of your children. Again, make sure y'all like the stream. They want to take control of your children. They don't want you to protect your son and daughters. They say, let us raise them. Let us mix them up mentally so they don't know whether they're male or female. They want an androgynous society. And they want to start with the children. Or now they're starting with the children. That's why... A lot of times I would tell y'all don't even put your kids in public schools. Because by the way, they want your kids stuck in public school so they can train them and they can program them. You take them out of public school and they can't really do that. You pick and choose who's educating your children. But with people like Corinne Steffens, she has never gotten help. And, you know, she was also in, in physically uh, abusive relationships as an adult. And she never got over that. She talked about how her self-esteem was extremely low and it led to her getting involved with all these different guys in the industry. Now, again, if Corinne Steffens was a guy, this would be a bigger story. But because she's just superhead, no one cares. No one cares about young boys. They say, oh, that's Chris Brown. Oh, that's Michael B. Jordan. Huh? She was talking about his prowess in the bedroom at 18. What? That's what I meant. Young, especially young black boys. They don't care about young black boys. That's what I meant. But they don't care about young boys, period. It don't matter if they're black or whatever. Most of you know, most young males in society, for, they are trying to forget about throwing to the wilderness it's not about protecting the kids anymore. It's about basically dividing them and indoctrinating them. Yes, black boys are the most vulnerable in our society and no one cares. No one cares. That's why we have to talk about this and have these uncomfortable conversations because people like this, POS is like this, are going to be able to get into society and they're going to be able to do damage. In in no telling how many young men have dealt with this woman. She has no boundaries. None. This is the type of person that we're talking about. This is your typical westernized modern woman who goes from rapper to rap. She's obsessed with Lil Wayne. This woman was married and still screwing Lil Wayne. She doesn't care. That's why I don't understand why you dudes date her. You guys look like morons. And then you pretend like you don't know who she is. She's dealt with famous younger men. There were some guys that aren't as famous that she's dealt with. 
So we don't really truly know the whole scope of her BS. That's why I think these conversations definitely need to be had.